You've probably seen those signs in the national parks that say, leave only footprints and take only memories or take only photos. When you leave here, we recommend that you take skills, whatever skills you've learned in training the mind, having some respect for the mind's desire for true happiness. You've noticed we do a lot of bowing around here. Well, we bow down because the Buddha has us respect something inside us. That's where they respect is our desire for happiness. It is reliable, something that doesn't change, something that doesn't create any problems for anyone else, doesn't harm anyone else. That kind of happiness is hard to find, and it's also hard to find in this society of ours people who will talk about that kind of happiness and say that it's really worth working toward. Most of the message out there is that you can get a little bit of happiness with our product, or a little bit of happiness with what we're selling, and don't think about any bigger happiness than that. Well, the Buddha is asking you to think about a bigger happiness, about where you're going with your life, what do you want to show for it. As a young man, he was looking around, he saw that all the things that he was looking for happiness in were things that were going to age, grow ill, and die just like he was. And then there'd be nothing left. So he wanted something that was going to be more lasting. That's why he went out into the forest. And when he found it, he came back. He shared the knowledge with his family. He shared the knowledge with people at large. He'd found a real treasure. So whatever skills that help you in the direction of finding that treasure for yourselves, you try to keep those in mind. Take those with you. You can't take the peace and quiet of the monastery. You can't take the, the views out from the hill. But when you're sitting at the airport gate or when you're sitting on the airplane, when you're wherever, you can still be with your breath. You can still learn how to relate to the breath in a way that's good for the mind, good for the body. Take that skill with you wherever you go, because it's the skills that provide you with the protection. The memories here, they're the nice memories, but it's the skills that you learned. Those are the things that really make a difference from moment to moment to moment. And help work toward that happiness that really is special. That when you look back at your life, you say, okay, this was something that was worth finding. Because after all, the body is going to go anyhow. So you might as well expend it in finding something that's not going to go.